Hello friends, welcome back to the Tony Tenants YouTube channel. And let me show you what I have for you today. I got back this 2004 Toyota RAV4 L and it's here for the engine oil change. So let's go and take care of the business. And I always start with loosening this filler cap, right, and let it sit there. Nicely says it needs 5W30 on top of it, okay. And I always like to pull the dipstick, wipe it off, and check how much oil was left in the car. And actually, wow, well, this one is perfect. The level of the oil is on the full. So I can leave that open and I will be lifting the car. RAV4 is nicely up in the air and that gives us beautifully view of the engine oil pan and the filter. They are nicely close to each other so I will be able right, to, do, to undo the bolt and the filter in the same time and it will all go in the one catching pan. Now look at this, this is not the original Toyota gasket. Uh, there is a bunch of oil, it's going to drip right off the pan. So I'm wondering if the gasket around the pan leaks, probably it does, right? But also we will replace this non-original gasket for original Toyota. To remove that drain plug, you are using 14 millimeter socket, right? Carefully loosen it. And I wanna, oh, this one doesn't wanna go easily. I wonder why. Is it going right now? Okay. Now I have my catching pan right nicely underneath because it will go really out. They have a pressure, despite the fact this is small motor, and I will catch that aftermarket gasket. I wonder why it is there. And here you can nicely see, hopefully, that oil is super contaminated and it's not looking good. I will be also showing you this weirdness, that gasket which came out. Look at this. It's all fell in the pieces. There is some kind of broken rubber part and some kind of o-ring. Interesting. Toyota did great design here. The drain opening and the filter are so close I can immediately continue with loosening the filter. Now let's see if the previous technician did it right. I should be able to move it by the hand and Yes, bravo, somebody paid attention and I was able to loosen it just by the hand. I did few turns and the oil also comes off that area. Now I'm finally ready to let it drain and hit the road jack to the dealer and buy original filter and that blue gasket. Let me show you here the detail of that broken gasket which was on that drain bolt that's interesting right look how it fell apart totally dysfunctional and throw away and I'm back 40 minutes later so let's continue I can finish unscrewing this filter <clears throat> Let's see, all right. Now you can see it was some kind of car quest, right? So that's good. We are replacing it with original Toyota one. Now I need to be careful around this opening for the drain bolt because it looks there's some kind of residue around there. So I'm cleaning it. But I will also take like a plastic scraper and make that surface perfect and ready for that new washer. You can see the detail of the, the drain bolt, right? And this is 
that blue washer this is the original Toyota right so I'm putting it on the bolt and I will start by the hand screwing it inside of that oil pan and it's so far it's going nicely so it was probably that the rubber mess which was slowing that bolt when I was removing it nice I like to perform this job perfect so I will use my torque wrench and I will torque it to the 40 Newton meters four zero always pay attention to it I love it this is perfect and it's a time to move on that housing for that engine oil filter right I want to show you where it is how it looks so I will clean that and I will start installing that new filter and here we have that matching original Toyota filter right so that's a number for you the filter it's looking like this right and it has that plastic on the bottom you have to remove it obviously because the plastic was to protect the grease which is on that o-ring so you don't have to put the oil on it it's pre-greased carefully by the hand only right catch that thread on that oil filter housing and then I will tie this by the hand only please right no oil filter wrench and that's it perfect here let me show you how that oil was dirty I'm sure you will agree it was time to change it now we are back in this area this gives me chance to do more cleaning but you can see on this cap right that it really needs 5w30 the question is how much the owner's manual says it needs 3.8 quarts to avoid spills i show you the trick right taking one of these bottles you can screw it in actually nicely and it will be not leaking all over when you are pouring it and I can start pouring that oil in I have a half here from previous oil changes so I will start with this and then I will add another three so I will pour three and a half and then I will stop and start using a dipstick to measure the level I have three and a half quarts inside nicely dry dipstick let's see what we've got all right and on both sides of the dipstick it's touching exactly the F as a full perfect and what it means to me I can put the dipstick inside close this filler and I will go ahead and start up the engine and let it run for approximately one minute and anytime you do this first startup it's really good idea observe that oil light which is down there right because that needs to disappear pretty soon oh did you see that one or two seconds max that's perfect now I can go and really quickly look underneath the car it, I don't have any leaks from that bolt and the filter and everything is looking good I already looked underneath so after approximately one minute I will shut off the engine and it's so easy to keep yourself busy in those five minutes right I adjusted tire pressures put that reminder sticker on the windshield Right, I did some visual inspections if everything's okay here filled up the windshield wiper reservoir and so on so those five minutes goes quickly and I will be ready to do the final check on that engine oil level and we know if the owner's manual is correct we will be missing to the top line 0.3 of the quart right 
So let's see. It's way over five minutes. The oil had a chance to go down. And sure enough, if you look with me, I hope you will be able to see it. The oil is approximately halfway or in upper half between the L and the F. So it's perfect. And I will be adding right now that 0 0.3 of the core and re-measuring that level. And that's it, it's pretty simple and straightforward procedure. Of course, I will still go on the test drive right after any service we do on the cars, we go test drive it. I hope you enjoyed this video, you find it helpful. If you do, please give it a thumb up. Make sure you are subscribed. I have a lot of Toyota Tech coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.